Hello and welcome back to Payday 2 101 with your as always, Madrybred. Today I'll be analyzing the R93 sniper rifle and the Signature 40 pistol. Keep in mind that all these weapons are heavily modded, as we're looking at the long-term potential of each weapon. First with the R93 sniper rifle. The R93, much like the Rattlesnake, is a fantastic weapon that has a lot of use both in low-level and high-level play. Because of its high power, it's great for new players to learn how to use the snipers, due to it not requiring headshots on most basic enemies. And on Deathwish, it can replace the Rattlesnake as it does enough damage to one-shot headshot many enemies. For the pros, one-shot headshot through shields, fantastic damage per shot, and can shoot through some walls and cover. For cons, low total ammo and a low rate of fire. The R93 sniper rifle is a great sniper rifle that I would highly recommend on Deathwish difficulty, as well as for anyone who is still getting the hang of sniper rifles. I highly recommend using the solar sight on any sniper, as it doesn't zoom in too far and lets you keep most of your peripheral vision, allowing you to be effective at all ranges. On overkill and lower, I would recommend the rattlesnake to experienced players to save on ammo, but on Deathwish, the R93 is the best way to go. Now onto the next weapon with the Signature 40 pistol. The Signature 40 is a fantastically versatile pistol that can be modded to work in any situation. Although it's generally considered to be a step behind the Interceptor 45 from the Gruber Kurs, it can still be a fun change of pace while remaining an effective weapon. For the pros, hits the 40 damage threshold, is extremely accurate, extremely stable, and has a good magazine size. For the cons, low max ammo compared to its competition. Overall, the Signature 40 is probably best used as a Deathwish stealth pistol, although it can be fantastic when built for going loud. It's just not quite as good as the Gruber Kurs or Interceptor 45 by a very small margin. That's it for this episode of Payday 2 101. On the next episode, we're on to more weapon guide videos. If you're interested in this series and would like to watch more, a link to the playlist will both be on screen as well as in the description. This series will be ever updating as new patches change the game, so I'll keep you guys up to date. If you want to play Payday 2 with me, I play with the viewers on my stream whenever I stream Payday 2. You'll see a link to my Hitbox streaming account in the description. If you're looking for some teammates to play with, why not join in my Steam group linked in the description, and if you want to keep up with me, I have my Facebook fan page and Twitter linked down there as well. Feel free to request I talk about anything in the game, as long as I don't already have a video on it in the playlist, and I look forward to seeing everyone's feedback. If you want to see me play some more Payday 2, click the video on the left to check out my playlist of my Payday 2 streams, and if you want to see a different game, the video on the right is of one of my newest playthroughs. That's it for this video, thank you all for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.